Hey guys, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston and I am joined by my wonderful husband, Dorian. Hello, hello. For those of you those of you that don't know and if you don't follow me on Instagram then you missed out. We just got married like a week and a half ago? Mm-hmm. Very. Yes, two weeks ago. Yep, yeah, in Mexico. That was our second ceremony because why have one when you could have two? Uh, I blame my mom. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> but this is our first video as a married couple. It is, it is. But today it's a special one. It's a bit of a request. Uh, basically, you guys were asking what are the shoes that you would think that we should own sneakers specifically and can you please compare them talk about their pluses minuses etc and funny enough while we were away getting married koyo this brand here came to us and said we want to do a comparison video and we don't care what you say about us just let us know what you think and it was like all right then let's do it <laughs> so it kind of all worked out it was a happy circumstance so ash i think we should just get into it and just talk yes. about these three shoes we got the common projects achilles we got the koyos we got the greats. They're all kind of out in the ether. Everyone knows them, I think. If yep. you're looking for white sneakers or just colored sneakers in general, I think people know who they are and run into them. So let's talk about what makes them so amazing and or not so amazing. Okay, so Ash, let's start with the Common Projects Achilles. Yep. And by the way, this woman touches hundreds of men's shoes, sneakers, dress shoes, boots, you name it, a week. I wish you could see her studio. Maybe we'll do a tour one of these days to see the literal wall of shoes that she I has. That. And that's getting changed out constantly. Oh, yeah. So when I'm looking for new shoes as well, I go to the encyclopedia <laughs> for men's shoes, this one right here. And it's a good, ass a good asset to have for sure. So Ash, uh, we did a whole right. video about this. We did. Already. And you know, I just want to go over it. Yeah, real quick. More. So Common Projects Achilles, they're super popular. I love the design. It's a very simple, minimalistic design. The OG oh, white yeah. sneaker, basically. Yes. I feel like they really kicked off this whole white sneaker craze, but the luxury version. Yep. And it is a little crazy to me that people would pay $415 for a white sneaker. Oh, you need to go higher than that if you're talking Gucci, you know, all the high-end brands. Of I course. mean, literally it's the same thing. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> even with Gucci and Saint Laurent, they'll, they'll do their interpretation of a white sneaker. So they'll okay. have little embellishments sure. and stuff that feel very true to their brand. So this is just a classic white Super clean, clean sneaker um, that I, I, I mean, I love it. I will say when you first get them and you start wearing them, they're quite squeaky. <laughs> yep, they're a little stiff. You got to break them in a little bit, but then yeah. they they just they hit the pocket and it's perfect oh, yeah. and they just are a great pair of shoes. I own them myself. Um, and so Ash, is there any major cons to these shoes? We've talked about this again. We'll link it in the description below. We did this ad nauseum, but real quick, what are the cons of these shoes? We already know they're There's, great. Okay, so the biggest con is the price. It is an extremely steep price to pay for a pair of sneakers. I will say that. So especially a pair of white sneakers. I think the last two years have seen kind of a glut of white sneakers or just sneakers in general in this similar design aesthetic. And so it's really hard to justify that high of a price when you have really less expensive options that I would say are really damn close. Look, beautiful design. I have no problem with the design. I love this shoe. Would I spend my own money on these? No. Yeah, I and that's what not. we said in the other video. So, <laughs> all right, so that's, that's my my point with this. Okay, Ash, and next up is Koyo the Capri. All right, so classic white sneaker, um, but then you have this detail, the suede detail here. I like it. I always preach go super classic, timeless with all the pieces you wear. Um, but now, you know, it's been a few years into this whole white sneaker um, essential item craze that's been going on. And so now I'm looking for pieces that are still very classic in the design and still very much neutral and wearable with the rest of your wardrobe, but have just another, just a little extra special touch, something like a different interpretation of the white sneaker, but still keep the, the good elements about this essential item. So you want something that's a little more unique. Yes. 
interesting. My actual thing that I really liked about these is that they have kind of the suede on the inside. And I noticed when I first got my Common Projects, when you wear them, it tends to rub a little right there. And I wore through a couple pairs of socks, like breaking mine in basically. <laughs> and it kind of left a little blisters, but they go away pretty quick. But these don't really have that problem because it's super soft on the inside. Oh, it's and I thought padded. I thought that was like a, yeah, the padding is really good. And I thought that was like kind of a nice touch compared to a lot of other sneakers. It seems like a really small thing, but it's much bigger when you're, when you're wearing them day in and day out. And I've worn these like, extended walking periods and yeah. they really held up and I was really surprised. Okay, Ash, and so also I think you, as you, as you mentioned with the common projects, let's talk about price on these bad boys. Yeah. How does it rank to quality, comfortability in relation to the other shoes here? So I totally thought that these sneakers cost as much as the common projects. The quality and just the construction and the whole design of the sneaker really reminded me of a common project or of a Saint Laurent, like just the little details that went in. So I thought it was actually gonna be in the 400, maybe like slightly cheaper, like 375, 385. So it was a nice surprise to know that they were only 248. And some of you might think that's really high for a sneaker, but when I look at the entire package and I look at the little details, I would rather, like I would easily spend 248 for this shoe rather than 600, 400, 500 on a white sneaker. I thought for the price as well, they were really, really good. There's yeah. much higher priced ones that I've tested and I'm like, uh, what did I pay for exactly? I'm not exactly I like. Sure. I also like the different colorways. Oh, I so, forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, they have a lot of different colorways. So does so do common projects, which are great. But their colorway is a little bit different, and it's a little more unique. And then it always has this added little like nicety, little little difference. All right, guys, and let's move on to the final shoe. This one has been asked and requested. I would say just as much as the common projects. I think oh. um, the greats, the greats, the Royale. Uh, is out in the ether and they're kind of coming up and so I thought it was going to be fantastic that we're going to talk about it So let's do that Ash yeah. So what, what do you yeah. love about these? Okay, so super clean design all yep. around So no, no problems there. All right, so they get an A plus for overall the minimal design The only thing I wasn't like that big of a fan of was this uh, perforation so it reminds me of like an Air Force One, like a Nike sneaker. Um, I just don't care for it on a low top white sneaker like this. And I question whether it's necessary for like venting. I mean, the holes are not no. big. So it's not like, oh, finally yeah. all this hot air in my shoe gets to escape. But it's super soft and padded. The only thing that I wasn't a big fan of, I mean, it still kind of is bothering me. So basically on if the toe here, here, it almost feels like there's a seam on the inside. So it keeps pressing down yeah. on your feet, like on the toe area. It's almost like when I was wearing them too, it's almost like you could feel where they sewed the, the, yeah. the toe box on basically, where for the rest of them, they don't really have that problem. Mm -hmm. So it feels like there's something in there. And mm -hmm. I agree, it's kind of across the top of your toes and it's a little bit annoying. The worst <laughs> thing ever for shoes, yes, they can look great, but <laughs> if they're not comfortable, it's pretty much a showstopper for me. Um, and these are right on that edge of like, uh, I, See, this is the thing. I don't know if that feeling is gonna go away. I just don't care to, to find wear out. them long enough to find uh, out. Ouch, <laughs> ouch. Uh, so that's obviously a con. Yep. Uh, any other cons that you see in no, these No, I mean, overall, like the design, super clean. It's like- They have a, multiple a, colorways a, as well? It's like an Adidas meets Air Force One, Nike. Kind of. <laughs> like two. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's what it kind yeah. of reminds me of. Yeah, yeah. So Ash, pricing wise, these are the cheapest of the bunch. Okay. And they come in around, where? where, where it was 179. 179, 180. Yes. Maybe you can find a little bit of a discount code or a little bit of a, a sale every now and then. Um, and so are they worth that price, do you think? Compared to the yeah. others. That's what I'm curious about. So compared to the others, I would just pick up an Adidas Stan Smith for 80 bucks. Yeah. I would not pay $180 for this sneaker at all. Okay. Um, if I wanted an Air Force One, I would pay that amount, which is right around there. I think it's like 140 or 150. Okay. But for this, no, I think it's actually, I mean, it's cheap, I guess, relative to all of these sneakers, but I can just get a really clean Stan Smith instead for a hundred, yes. literally a hundred and usually <laughs> yeah. less if you find them on sale. So great, not so great. 
Yeah, I mean, I feel bad because it's like <laughs> I actually do like the design. It's yeah, just, yeah. I, I'm like, for the price, it's not worth it for me. Okay, then. No, and there needs to be an improvement on the design. So guys, we'll link all these shoes in the description below. Um, like we said, they come in different colorways. Maybe they're for you. Maybe you like the greats, regardless of what Ashley said. I Maybe mean, the Common Projects is absolutely you know, what you I'm want. I'm just being brutally honest yeah. with you all, and I just want to let you know pros and cons, what's worth it, what's not worth it, not worth it, not worth it, worth it. Kind of worth it, but uh. <laughs> everything worth has. It on, worth it on sale or used? Uh, worth it if someone gives it to you. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.